Oh well, Mega Force. Atari 2600 Plus versus Word Zapper. That's weird. Fourth left time. It's loading the not loading. Loading the not loading. Maybe it's not seated in correctly. Yeah, we're gonna... Try number two. Come on, Word Zapper, do your thing. Woohoo! Atari 2600 Plus versus Venture. Atari 2600 Plus vs. Space Jockey. Just had to wiggle it. Atari 2600 Plus versus Towering Inferno. Towering Inferno. Atari 2600 Plus versus Donkey Kong. Third try. Mm. Sorry, Donkey Kong. Atari twenty six hundred plus versus Frogger. That didn't sound good. Let's try this again. Ooh, Frogger. I like that tune.
Remember, clean your Atari carts before you use them. Atari 2600 Plus versus ET, the extraterrestrial. Try this again. Seems to be something about the cartridge port. Atari 2600 Plus versus Pole Position. Atari 2600 Plus versus Galaxian. Atari 2600 Plus versus Missile Command. Atari 2600 Plus versus Time Salvo and Atari 7800 Homebrew after firmware update 1.1. Beautiful title screen. My Atari 7800 Christmas homebrew game running on the Dragonfly cart versus the Atari 2600 Plus. Atari 2600 Plus versus Defender 2. Defender 2, also known as Stargate. Some people call this the best Atari VCS game ever made, at least the best Atari arcade translation ever made. Let's see if it works. Defender 2. Mm. 
This is the original gatefold Starship game for the Atari 2600. You notice that it opens up like this, and the game is inside. I'm going to pull that out, and we're going to test it out. Atari 2600 Plus versus original gatefold Starship. Ooh. Not much to see. It's Starship. It's one of the original games. It was discontinued after a few years because it really wasn't all that great. But it was good when it was released in 1977. The Atari 2600 Plus versus Crips of Chaos. Cool. This is like a really primitive but full-on RPG first person for the Atari 2600. Amazing. Atari 2600 Plus versus Space Invaders. Space Invaders. This is not the original blue box Space Invaders release. This is the late 80s red box release from Atari Corp, not Atari Inc. Same game. Different release. Rick Mauer designed this game. He was a genius. He stuck 128 variations into a tiny cartridge. Atari 2600 Plus versus Aquaventure. Aquaventure. This is a game that was developed back in the 80s, remained unreleased. Atari put it out officially in 2022. There had been um, other releases unofficial before that. This is also a really cool game. Pretty addictive. Atari 2600 Plus versus Mr. Run and Jump. Mr. Run and Jump. This is a brand new game for the 2600 released this year by Atari. Pretty fun game too. Atari 2600 Plus versus Circus Convoy from Audacity Games. The suspense is killing me. Atari 2600 Plus versus Mr. Postman. Mr. Postman.
I don't even know what this is, but it. Okay. Get some catching stuff. Weird, Mr. Postman. Looks nothing like Mr. Postman. Atari 2600 Plus versus Mountain King. A RAM Plus cartridge. I'm pretty sure this will not work. This is the 1.1 firmware. We'll see whether it works now or needs another 1.2 update before it can work. like it's at least started. Let me reset it. I'm running across the mountains. It works. Awesome. Atari 2600 Plus versus Tax Avoiders. Tax Avoiders. Atari 2600 Plus versus the Empire Strikes Back game, which might have been... One of the, oops, let's get back in there, guy. Might have, oops, let's get back in there, guy. It's not it's just popping out. Wow. <laughs> That's an oddity. Oh, it's in now. What a bizarre occurrence. Let's see if it works. That works, even though it likes to jump out. Atari 2600 Plus versus Star Wars the Arcade Game. The Atari 2600 Plus versus Pitfall 2. This is the 1.1 firmware, but I'm still not sure this is going to work. It's the most advanced cartridge ever made, I believe, for the Atari 2600 with a special Dave Crane chip inside, and it probably won't load, but we'll see. Hmm. That's what it does. Hopefully 1.2. Atari 2600 Plus versus Atari 7800 Miss Pac-Man. This game was programmed by GCC, the same company that programmed the original Miss Pac-Man. Well, altered Pac-Man to create Miss Pac-Man. The Atari 2600 Plus versus Activision Laser Blast. This is the only game I scored 100,000 points in and took a photo of myself to get a patch from Activision back in 1982. But for some reason, I never sent the photo in. laser blast. A seemingly simple but amazingly intensely addictive game. 
The Atari 2600 Plus versus Activision Tennis. I believe this is the only remaining full box Atari 2600 game I have from when I got an Atari in 1981. I've since replaced a lot of them. The Atari 2600 Plus versus River Raid. Probably my favorite Atari 2600 game ever. The Atari 2600 Plus versus my Western 7800 game demo, Homebrew. Explored 8-bit worlds, it's just crashed onto 